John, a 1-0 victory. Does this go down as a game that you had to fight for, maybe didn't play overly well in, but you got the result, and from the manager's point of view, that's a real positive? I, don't, I wouldn't say it was a game we didn't play particularly well in. I think you have to give a lot of credit to Shelbourne, I thought, for the first maybe 30, 35 minutes. They they done some good stuff. They overloaded the sides of the pitch, uh, which caused us a lot of problems, dragging our full-backs inside, their wing-backs overlapping. So I think that causes a lot of problems. Um, I think when we change shape to a back three and, and we match them up with the wing-backs and the box midfield, um, I think from that moment on, I thought we were very dominant. Jake Mulraney, what a moment of quality. Unbelievable. Um, he does that a lot in training. You know, he practices, practices them along with um, a few other lads as well. So, um, fantastic finish and, and obviously delighted um, that it's, it's got us the three points. There was a lot of good performances out there. Jamie Lennon stood out, his energy around the middle. Noah Lewis kind of grew into it and was very commanding in the second half. Sam Curtis was Sam Curtis. I mean, when you've got guys playing at the peak like they are, you're going to win football matches. Well, I thought... I thought they, they were good out of possession, in possession. I thought there was, you know, especially first half. But again, you give credit to Shelbourne the way they um, the way they pressed and the way they, they set up. Um, they made it difficult. You know, I don't think there's an awful lot between the teams. Um, you know, it's three games we've had now and it's been three set pieces that, that have decided. I think contrary to what other people think, you know, it's, it's so, so close. And, you know, even, even the budgets would be quite tight as well. You know, I don't think it's as big as, uh, as some people would say. Dundalk on Monday, they won tonight, they came from 1-0 down to get the victory, Pat Hoogan broke the record, so he's their leading ever goal scorer. It, it, look, it would be tough anyway, but is the, the four-day turnaround or three-day turnaround, whatever way you want to put it, does that make it even tougher? Well, it's the same for them, isn't it? Obviously, congratulations to Pat, it's a fantastic achievement for a, for a striker to do that, and um, it's all credit to him, he's, he's a fantastic player for them, so um, congrats to him, hopefully he's quiet on Monday. Um, but yeah, the, the turnaround is the same for them. It's not like it's not like they've rested tonight and um, and we've played. So it's it's um, both sets of teams will be now um, looking to recover and get ready to go again. You've got a busy period coming up, including a big European game and hopefully a European run. How beneficial will last year's experience be leading into this busy period and big games that you've got? Yeah, well, we've obviously got some some players in the change room that done it last year and were here last year for that. There's new players that it will be fresh too. Um, but it's it's you can feel the excitement obviously when you come back from the break this time of year, the draw is done so it's we know who we face in the first round, um, so so yeah but it's that's kind of down the road now it's still a couple of weeks away we've got a massive game Monday and then another two games in the league before that and we need to make sure we focus on that um, as a staff we'll obviously be looking um, ahead to that other game but you know as a, as a squad and as players their focus now is, is Monday and obviously when that goes it's then the following game. Europe can be distracting because of what's at stake financially and I suppose you know just generally kind of glory wise but did we see tonight that your guys are concentrated on their job they are concentrated on cliched as it sounds game by game well they have to be you know I think um, if you don't perform you don't play it's as simple as that and I think if you don't train well you don't play so I think I see that every day from them where they train 100% they give 100% and the ones that haven't given 100% you know won't won't be in the building and that's as simple as it is cheers John thank you